Welcome to another day in God's Word and the Alive Church Life Transformation Bible Discipleship Plan. These readings are accessible through Amazon Music and Alexa, Spotify, and Apple Podcasts. Find out more at AliveChurch.com. As we continue to walk through the fruit of the Spirit in this section of our daily readings, we come this week to patience. Today, my interaction with others will be characterized by patient love. Patience is an expression of love, and love is not only an attribute of God, but God is love. And because I have chosen to put my faith in Jesus and follow Him, the fruit of His Spirit, patience, is growing in me. As a result, I am fulfilling the intended purpose of my life, loving God and loving others. I cannot obtain patience by sheer discipline or will. The Holy Spirit is spontaneously and continuously working in me to produce all of the character traits found in Jesus. Patience is the natural byproduct of joining my life with His. As I grow to know Him more, love Him more, remember Him more, and to imitate Him in all aspects of my life, His Spirit is increasing my endurance, so even when others irritate me, I will respond to them with patience. Today, my interaction with others will be characterized by patient love. My words will always be filled with compassion. I will encourage those who are growing. I will challenge those I must reprimand. And when I am allowed the honor of giving guidance, I will do so prayerfully and carefully with patient love. With patience, I am able to see beyond others' faults and failures. I am able to tolerate inconveniences and annoyances without grumbling. When provoked, I will not lose my temper. I will persevere even when under great pressure and while enduring injustice. My trust in Jesus will not waver, and I refuse to seek revenge when I am wronged. Today, my interaction with others will be characterized by patient love. Patience is not idle. It requires action. I will take action by reflecting on God's patient love towards me and ask Him to help me be equally patient with others. I will act in patient love by serving and caring for others. Patience is love in action. It is a willingness to forgive and empathize with others. It is the strength to stand with others in times of need. It is the call to express love by sharing the burden of those around me and the good news of Jesus with them. Regardless of the time and energy required to invest in others with patient love, I recognize its value and worth. It is the bond of all relationships. I am allowing God's Spirit to supernaturally work in me to produce patient love. As a result, I will not only be more tolerant of others, but I will have a greater inner peace. Today, my interaction with others will be characterized by patient love. Now, day two, as we continue to read about patience this week, examples of patience. We start in James 5.10. For examples of patience and suffering, dear brothers and sisters, look at the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord. And that would be looking back in the Old Testament for that. Matthew 18, 26 through 27. But the man fell down before the master and begged him, Please be patient with me, and I will pay it all. Then his master was filled with pity for him, and he released him and forgave his debt. Romans 2, 4. Don't you see how wonderfully kind, tolerant, and patient God is with you? Does this mean nothing to you? Can't you see that his kindness is intended to turn you from your sin? 2 Peter 3, 9. The Lord isn't really being slow about His promise, as some people think. No, He is being patient for your sake. He does not want anyone to be destroyed, but wants everyone to repent. And our memory verse this week is from Colossians 3.12. Since God chose you to be the holy people He loves, you must clothe yourselves with tender-hearted mercy, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. The real benefit of this reading plan comes from the action you will take because of it. Every day we encourage you to consider what areas of your life will benefit from this action and how will that happen. Find out more at AliveChurch.com and have a great day.